Hey everyone, my name is Chomi Iyazi. If this is your first time of coming across my channel, thank you very much for stopping by. If you really want to know how I'm faring, please click on the red subscribe button and also touch on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how I made my homemade liquid soap. Liquid soap is a multifunction or multipurpose soap that everyone needs in the house. It's made with few ingredients that are not too hard to get. You can get it in any chemical store. So liquid soap is a multipurpose soap that you can use in washing your plates, cleaning your house, washing your white and other colored clothes. There are some detergents that you can use to wash good clothes like whites, which you can't use soda to wash. But liquid soap is a multi-purpose soap that you can use to wash both your white clothes, your colored clothes, your um, dishes, that is your plates, your house, mopping your floor, washing your toilet and all that. So liquid soap has all those functions and uses. So without wasting much of our time, I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that I'll be using to make this homemade liquid soap. So stay tuned. And the first ingredients needed for this liquid soap production is STPP. STPP prevents the deposition of soil and serves as anti-spotting agent. It softens water and can be used as water treatment as well. So we'll be needing STPP for this production. Our next ingredients will be SLS, SLL chemical. This will be our next ingredients. It lowers the surface tension between ingredients, which is why it is used as cleaning and foaming agent. It can also be found in beauty and self-care products, as well as in household cleaners. This is SLS. It hardly dissolves in water, and I'll be dissolving it in water for one hour or you can dissolve yours overnight then the next day you prepare your liquid soap with it i'll be dissolving mine in water for one hour this is our sls chemical it's a little bit bigger it's not that smooth so that is why it's hard to dissolve in water and you need to dissolve it first before making use of it this is our SLS chemical that we'll be using for this liquid soap production. Our next ingredients will be glycerin. With a soap with glycerin is good for the skin, which keeps moisture locked into the skin. It serves as filler. It prevents rapid drying. It increases lathering. It also serves as preservative, making the cream or liquid soap last longer without spoilage. It also have other useful benefits. It removes the harmful effect of other chemicals. So we'll be using glycerin for this production. The next chemical will be Tezapol. This is Tezapol. This is how it looks like. It looks like gel. This is Tezapol. Tezapol is used to replace, to replace LABSA is a foam booster agent is a foaming booster agent as well it can also be reduced or served so we'll be using tezapol as well for this production soda. caustic soda also known as sodium hydroxide it enhances the perfume absorption making it last longer and more active it also serves as a cleaning agent so we'll be needing caustic soda for this production. So our next ingredients will be sulfonic acid. Sulfonic acid neutralizes the acidic content of the caustic soda and also increases the activeness of the perfume. This is how it looks like. It looks like a condemned oil, but it's not condemned oil. This is sulfonic acid. It neutralizes the acidic content of the caustic soda and also increases the activeness of the perfume in our liquid soap so we'll be needing this for this production so our next ingredient is nitrosoil nitrosoil serves as a thickener in the production of liquid soap 
it dissolves faster in water. It dissolves immediately in water. This is nitrosol chemical. So we'll be using this in our liquid soap production as well. Our next ingredient is foam booster. This foam booster helps our liquid soap to foam very well. It helps it to foam to our desired taste. It helps the liquid soap to foam. So we'll be needing our foam booster in this liquid soap production. The next one is preservative. Preservative helps the liquid soap to last longer without spoilage. It, it is used in um, many skincare production like body soap, face soap, liquid soap, detergent and all that. So preservative is useful in all production because it makes the product to last longer without spoilage. So we'll be needing our preservative for this liquid soap. We also need perfume to give it that sweet scent, to give our liquid soap that sweet scent that we desire. So we'll be needing perfume for this production as well. Here we have the last ingredients. We'll be needing color. This is the green color. I'll be making use of this green color. Feel free to make use of any color of your choice. This will help beautify the liquid soap to give it that perfect color that you desire. This is the green color. You can use any color of your choice in making your liquid soap. So to start with this production, we'll be needing a bowl, which we'll be using to soak our SLS for one hour or overnight. I'll be soaking mine for one hour because I'll be making this liquid soap production today. I'll be soaking my SLL for one hour before making use of it. So feel free to soak yours for one hour or overnight. You get a separate bowl, add water, after adding the water in the bowl, you take your tablespoon, add two full spoons of your SLLs into the water. Soak it overnight or for one hour to dissolve in the water before using it. Cover it up and leave it to sit for one hour or overnight before making use of it. The materials needed for this production, for this liquid soap production, are you need a wooden toner a liquid soap container, a bucket or a bowl, then you need a hand glove. If you don't have a hand glove, you can make use of a cellophane. You can tie your cellophane in your hands and use a rubber band to hold it at the edge. Then you can also, you'll be needing a um, face mask because some of these chemicals, or let me say, all these chemicals are harsh when inhaled, most especially our asthmatic patients, you need to put on your nose mask or rather your face mask, wear your hand glove and also make sure you have a wooden toner, a bowl or a bucket and a liquid soap container. Please, when using your bowl or bucket, make sure you make use of the bucket or the bowl you no longer use for cooking or any other inside or internal hygiene sink so please be caution for that and don't make any mistake to avoid story that the preparation of this liquid soap will be needing a half jug of water pour the water into the bowl after pouring the water into the bowl we'll be needing two tablespoonful of our nitro soil these are nitro soil, we'll be needing two tablespoons of it. Add it into the water. I 
and stir. Stir very well. Stir very well for two minutes to dissolve completely. And as you can see, it has dissolved quickly in the water. After stirring for two minutes, our next ingredients will be caustic soda. This is our caustic soda. We'll be adding two tablespoonful of our caustic soda as well. After which, you stir faster. Increase the stirring velocity. Stir faster for four minutes. As you can see, it's getting thicker now. After stirring for four minutes, you add the next ingredients. As you can see, the change in color and texture that's taken now. So it's been four minutes. In a separate bowl of water, mix your tether pour and your sulfonic acid will be needing two spoon each of the chemicals sulfonic acid two spoon in a separate bowl and we'll also be needing Two spoon of a teza pour. Mix very well before transferring it into the main bowl. Mix very well. You then transfer the mixture into the main bowl. Continue stirring. Stir very well. Stir, 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 stir. Keep stirring very well. Stir very well. After stirring for Five minutes this is how it looks like then this is when our SLS will come in our SLL has dissolved fully in water so you add it to the bowl and stir See how foamy it is. After stirring, then it's time to add our glycerin. We 
adding two full spoons of glycerin. Step. After that, it's time to add our preservative. So, for this, we'll be adding one teaspoon of preservative. Feel free to adjust any ingredients. After which we stir. After stirring for two minutes, now our foam booster comes in. We'll be adding one full spoon for a foam booster or you can add two let me add two to this after which we stir as well so you can see the bubbles coming up See how thick it is. See how thick and creamy it is. After stirring for another three minutes, this is when our color comes in. So you first of all dissolve your color in water in another separate bowl, then add it to it feel free to add any color of your choice can see our liquid soap is almost ready keep stirring it's not easy to stir and now it's time to add our perfume to give it that sweet scent Make sure you dissolve your color in water very well before adding it. So it's time to add our perfume. I will be adding one or two tablespoons of our perfume to our liquid soap. Like I said earlier, feel free to adjust any ingredients of your choice. After adding the perfume and every other ingredients, mm, you can perceive the sweet scent. So it's time to add water to your desired taste. My color did not dissolve in water very well. Please make sure you dissolve your color in water very well before adding it. So we'll be adding water to this to suit our taste. I'll be using this bowl to measure it. And 
still, 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 still. So you can see the bubbles is coming up the bubbles are up already so if you don't like it too thick you can add water as well this is very thick I'm going to add a little bit of water to it so we adding one extra bowl of water to it and stir And perceive the scent coming out from this liquid soap oh my god the scent is so sweet in the nose <laughs> as you can see so this is the consistency that I want feel free to adjust any ingredients as you can see right now our liquid soap is fully 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 ready this is the consistency that I need if you don't like it like this you can also add water if you don't like it too watery you can as well leave it thick but this is the consistency that i need so i'll be keeping some portion of it for my personal use and for two of my friends then the rest i will be selling it yes guys and our liquid soap is fully ready so after this you can let it to sit for some time before transferring it into your liquid soap containers for use or you can transfer it direct and allow it to sit for some time the choice is yours thank you very much for watching if you find this video very interesting please do subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post new videos see you guys in my next videos Bye-bye.